Hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you these little beauties right here. They are Color Burst by Ken Oliver. And today I have three colors. I have a couple more colors on the way. I think there's six in all. And I was introduced to these by Laurel Beard. And when I saw them, I just went wild. So I had to have them. I ordered them right away. And one of the things that I loved about them is they are different than anything I have in my craft room. They create really cool watercolored looks, but in a very different way. So let me show you exactly what these little babies can do. I'm gonna start with some Distress watercolor cardstock watercolor paper or cardstock is going to be just fine. I'm just grabbing these. I think I'll use the smooth side. There's the rough side. I don't know if you can really tell on camera the difference. I have violet, orange, and blue. And the first thing I'm going to do is do the technique where you just spray down your cardstock. I am adding a ton of water on here. Just spray that baby down. And this is what hooked me on this stuff and why I had to buy it right away. And if you are on Instagram or Facebook with me, you did see a video on this, but watch this. This color just bursts right out of there when you add it. It is so awesome and so fun to watch. As I was talking, a lot of this water kind of pulled to the side. So let me get it back up on the cardstock and then look at that. Look at that. It's so awesome and so much fun to play with. Make sure you've got a little towel on the side. I'm going to add a little more violet over here. Look at that. Spread it around. You can even grab a paintbrush if you want. Help those colors move. Oh my gosh, look at that vibrant color. That's another thing that I really love about this is how vibrant the color is. A lot of watercolors and inks, you can't quite get colors that vibrant and that dark. It is just beautiful. I'm gonna add more water. I wanna get this moving some more. And I really didn't use that much powder on this. And look at that vibrant, dark color. Now, if you want, you can grab your heat tool. You can move the color around, get some drips and fun interest going on this piece of watercolor cardstock. I'm going to add a little more water over here. I have some white spots. I want this whole piece colored. If you have color on your mat and you have white spots, you can just turn it over and grab some of that color. And then from here, you just play, dry, drip. If you want colors moving more, you could add more water, or maybe it's too dark for you, you can add water and then dab it up with a paper towel. You can see my paper is curling quite a bit, so if you just turn it over and heat it on the other side, it will help flatten it out. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. Meanwhile, I've got all this amazing color on my mat. We don't want this to go to waste, so I'm just going to add some more water here. And then I'm going to grab another piece of watercolor cardstock and I'm just going to pick up that color. And again, same as the other one. You can dip and dry and dab and just play until you get a really cool background. And then there's tons of different things you can do with the background. I'm gonna do a few more videos. I'll put some on Stamp Nation. I'll put some on my blog. I'm gonna show you different ways to use these background pieces. So I'm drying and I'm dabbing and I'm dipping and that gives me a lot of layered color here. And you can just play till your heart's content. Now, be warned, you are gonna get inky. <laughs> a lot of
lot of people say to me in my videos, how do you not get your fingers inky? Well, I do. Proof right here. <laughs> so I'm just going to play with this for a minute and then I'll show you the results in a second. So here is my resulting piece and there's tons of things we can do with this. We can cut it up, we can lay some silhouette die cuts over the top of it, we can stamp on it, we can, you can also do like some emboss resist if you laid down and did your stamping and embossing first. Uh, you can emboss over the top of it. I will be doing some of these techniques in making these into cards. But before I do that, let's look at another way to use them. All right. So on this one, I'm gonna add my orange. I'm just going to squeeze it out and get some of that pigment on there. I got a lot of pigment. This stuff goes a long way. So when I spray this down, we are gonna get tons of color here. And look at how cool that is. This is orange, but look, there's some green and blue in there. Looks so awesome. You could just leave it like this and let it dry, or you can go to town and just start playing with it. Use your heat tool, push the color and the water around to achieve whatever kind of look you're looking for. Now, if you're worried about the buckling, because you'll see when it buckles sometimes that the you know water goes in places that maybe I don't want it to, you could put some adhesive on the back, or you could even use painter's tape to tape down the outside, and then you could do a masking technique. So if I did painter's tape around the edge, I would try to make it an equal increment all the way around, maybe like a quarter inch or a half inch in, and then just have the edges masked off and have them white. And that would help keep the paper flat when you're working. I'm gonna add some more water in there. So, um, I may throw up a couple samples with these technique pieces here. And stay tuned to my channel because I will be doing more videos with this color burst awesomeness. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you love inky fingers and you love this technique and you love this product. <laughs> I will see you again soon.